And this patient doesn't come without symptoms. Um, she um, fainted a few times, had syncopes, had palpitations, has uh, trouble breathing um, on exertion. So she really is, is sick, but no one has made the di a diagnosis so far. And we get this patient again in the adult cardiology service, not in the ACHD clinic. So this is a patient you, you get on your regular service, maybe you're doing echoes for the, the first year in your career, and this is now what you need to diagnose. First side, this looks like a significant pulmonary hypertension and with a very, very large right heart, with the only problem that this right heart is not really contracting at all. So basically you see a large round structure on top of the left ventricle really pressing onto the um, aorta. Here's a color Doppler flow, so left heart doesn't really seem to have any uh, problem. Um, however, apical four-chamber view, the right heart is dilated. And let's look at the person on the long axis view and really move the transducer up and look into the ascending aorta. And here you can see a diastolic, um, only a diastolic color Doppler flow going from the aorta distal to the aortic valve um, and going into, up into this um, dilated large round structure. And then there's another structure that we are not really familiar with, and I circled this here. There's a membrane within the right atrium. So now many really peculiar findings here. And um, when I'm doing this echo, I didn't know what's going on at this point. So let's put in some color, maybe it helps us. It doesn't really, because this is some really intense systolic, diastolic, turbulent color Doppler flow in this separated chamber in the right atrium. Let's continue. Um, here is an um, off-axis, long-axis view, and I numbered the chambers. So the one is the chamber that we saw sitting on top of the aorta, and two is this chamber that is in the right atrium. And you, I, I circled that there actually is a connection between the two, and if I put color Doppler, you can see there is flow going from one to two, going from the large structure into the small structure in the right atrium. Uh, and here again, you can see um, this turbulent high velocity flow going from the large one into the small two.